<laughs> oh yeah solar power goodness baby we are <laughs> We are mining the sun. Spring is sprung. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy. Hey, I'm Drew Voss. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Uh, normally I'm talking about mining, Bitcoin, earning passive income, uh, stuff like that. But I'm making videos on the tube here on this channel for We'll just round up say a decade and if you've been following along you've seen any of it you know that solar panels and solar power have always been my dream i, I want to pay off solar panels i want to pay off mining rigs and, and then i just want to have a real life money cheat code this isn't everything this is just a step in the right direction previously i put together a video about the original 50 panels the design uh, my thought process why and how i did everything out here today we finished it we sealed the deal we are online and operational with all 80 panels. I've got 80 in-phase IQ8+, Plus, which are rated at 290 watts continuous. So I essentially have 23.2 kilowatt of AC power. Or if you wanna look at how my panels are rated, I've got 80 430 rec. I believe they're the Pier 2A AA alphas, uh, but it's 34.4 kilowatts uh, DC of solar generation. So 80 panels, 430 watts each, associated a bit undersized micro inverter, ground mount array. We trenched about 300 feet from my service. Uh, we ran four out wire to send all this power through. Have a load center out here so I can pull power off of this and do whatever I want to do and everything nice neat and tidy wire managed up front i'm going to diy and get a lot more involved with the next solar arrays that we put up out here uh, but i wanted to just get this one knocked out get it grid tied it's grid tied one to one no batteries and basically every watt of electricity that i'm generating i bank with the electric utility and then i pull it back out whenever i need it so running the ac charging the tesla and of course this is so big and oversized because I wanted about 30,000 kilowatt hours of annual generation of electricity to power a Bitcoin miner running 24 seven, 365, and also to have some excess electricity to run some other gear and testing and stuff here at the house. And then beyond that, I should be producing over 43,000 kilowatt hours annually. We'll see if that's what really happens, but I'm so excited about this. And we're, we're homesteading, baby. I'm, I'm drilled a well, make my own water, make my own electricity now. Only downside is I'm grid tied. So in the event of a power outage, right? Uh, everything's going dark, but we've got a rig with a generator. So whatever, I don't want to overspend just in the sake of being fully off grid at the moment. You know, I'll DIY some kind of battery setup or something, or once we get vehicle to home charging, which is, and to be to be honest kind of lame that that's not already standard issue on electric vehicles then i already have a massive battery bank sitting in my garage and why would i buy a bunch of batteries slap them on the side of the house when i can drive my batteries around i mean dang this battery actually would drive you around the full self-driving is crazy now it is so impressive it's mind-blowing i was kind of sleeping on it recent updates this year have made it truly phenomenal it's nothing short of impressive and full self-driving, and, and, and I'm, I'm happy to go on the record and say this, is better than the average driver here on the East Coast of the US of A. This was a pretty expensive endeavor for me. All in, parts and labor, it's like three bucks a watt. Remember when I said I had 34.4 a kilowatt DC, right? We times that by three. It, it, it's under $3 a watt. I need to double check because I paid in parts and all that, but this cost me between like 90 to $100,000. I could have saved a lot of money by doing this myself. But so far, I yet again have had absolutely zero extra time, got a freaking baby on the way, working through other projects, expanding the mining farm. I do not have time, but I will have some more time by the end of the year. 
And the way I'm gonna spend that time is I'm just gonna work on DIYing solar and adding on to our services and building a raise out at the mining farm. To be frank, I have enough shit to keep me busy for the next 10 years. I know this will have a massive impact on my ROI and that's fine. Uh, everybody always wants to talk crap online. It's interesting being a content creator because everybody's got an opinion, they happily throw it at you, and uh, you never make everyone happy. Uh, and that's fine, I don't plan to. Actually, I piss a lot of people off, and in a, in a strange way, I take pleasure from it. Uh, because I really have found no other way to be uh, in the face of a lot of criticism throughout my life. Going against the grain, blazing my own trail, a lot of haters, doubters. <laughs> But to get serious and get back on topic, right? Uh, so I'm generating, I think the last time I did the math is like a, approximately $1,500 of SREX, solar renewable energy credits here in Virginia. I can market sale them. Uh, and you know, we'll see how everything kind of comes out. I'll do an update video, maybe six months or a year, kind of recap if you know how things have gone. Uh, so that right over the next 10 years, maybe make me 15 grand. Right, that's on top of zeroing out my electricity bill, which I pay my home residential electricity bill, right, with my tax money. It's not like the mining farm where I expense my electricity. I, I can't expense my home electricity, you know, when I'm, when I'm living there sometimes. This is the best starter Bitcoin miner. It's the Bitax Gamma, specifically the power mining version. They're manufacturing these open sourced Bitcoin miners. You could DIY one at home if you want, or you can grab one from them. But if you buy it from some other reseller, they're probably the ones that made it anyway. You can stack Satoshis over Wi-Fi, and if you want something bigger, but still small, check out the Nerd QX++. It mines Bitcoin in nearly a whopping five terahash a second from the palm of your hand. I did ask them for a coupon code, best they can offer, code VOSCOIN to save some coin, and I do have an affiliate link that supports the channel that I'll put down in the video description below if you want to grab one. Taxes are a scam, so I'm hyper-focused on how can I pay less taxed money. And those are a lot of things that people don't understand, they don't think about, and they never went out of their way to teach you in school because they want you to be a poor little cog in the machine. And the sooner you wake the fuck up and understand that, the sooner you'll start making better decisions to get you further away from the bottom of the totem pole. But I'm not here to be your dad today. I'm already Tails' dad, which proudest Doge dad in the world, if you ask me. But man, I am stoked. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's such a long time coming. And, and I know I already got the first piece of the array up and I had a lot of these feelings then, but it's always stressful when you have another thing hanging on. Uh, you, have an, you have another follow-up item. My to-do list is a mile long, so this is done, finished, complete, no mas. Okay, that's Spanish for no more. And the way this was installed, it's basic equipment racking, really. Just drove these pillars in, backside, front side, they have these struts they run through, right? And then all they do is just rack the panels and bolt them on and hold them down with pressure, which I'll come over here and show you. Uh, the microinverters are just bolted here on the backside. Uh, and all this stuff is nearly pre-wired. When you look at the actual connection points, it's pretty plug and play. And little zip tie wire management, easy peasy. Why haven't you done yours yet? <laughs> it's kind of crazy how simple their system is. This bolt down here on the bottom, this bolt above it, and there's just four bolts on each panel. That's it. So what kind of electricity bill am I actually like really getting rid of? Let's, let's crunch a few more numbers because the data's king, right? So my electricity bill, depending on the month and how much I'm mining at home and the weather, it cost me like 300 to 500, $600. So let's just say I'm nuking. Let's take let's let's be positive. Let's let's take the high side. I, I'm I'm nuking a $500 electricity bill. My rate is pretty good against the national average, but it's pretty bad uh, if you actually want to use your electricity for something. Say Bitcoin mining. It's 14 cents per kilowatt hour here out of my home. And guess what? Nothing ever gets cheaper as far as prices. And when were they ever like, hey, dude, <laughs> hey. Uh, we're dropping your electricity bill by 50%. We thought you wanted to save some money, buddy. No, doesn't happen, dude. So 14 cents per kilowatt hour this year. In 10 years, I wouldn't be surprised that they're charging us 20 cents per kilowatt hour here in Virginia. I mean, 
look at California. Look at their ridiculous electricity rates. You think that you're just immune to that? You're impervious? Or how about Europe? Oh my gosh, Europeans get ripped off harder on electricity than anyone else could ever possibly f***ing imagine. It is crazy. So 500 times 10 plus two, that's how I do the math in my head, is savings of $6,000 per year. And let's also remind ourselves that that's tax money. So let's just say we got scammed for a whopping 50% on it. That actually cost me essentially $9,000. Then I also earn $1,500 in SRECs. So now I've got $10,500 of value. So literally just based on those numbers, that would put me on like a 10 year path to break even. Oh, and don't forget, I'm earning passive income. I'm earning a Bitcoin miner. The numbers are all over the place. Let's just say we take the low side. I earn $10 a day, right? Electricity bill, who cares? I'm using my solar generation. So 10 bucks a day times 365 is $3,650. Higher side, 15 bucks, right? Maybe like five, six grand. But let's take 20 bucks, $7,000. $300. Really, we could even possibly take more. This is optimistic, but let's say I'm earning about $10,000 in retrospect on the Bitcoin that I mine. Because if you zoom out on Bitcoin's price, it sure does go up a lot over time. I hope, and to be honest, think and believe that my solar array will generate over $20,000 of value for me every year, which means that I'll break even on a $100,000 solar system in just five years. And anyone that thinks a five-year ROI on a $100,000 investment is stupid, is naive. They don't understand investing. I see it all the time in the comments. The guy that has $100 in NVIDIA on Robinhood wants to tell me that what XYZ that I'm doing is such a bad investment. Is so stupid. Well, it's not. People buy all kinds of things like homes, rent them out, multifamily housing, and they're thrilled to get a 5% annual return. Look how many people are happy to park their money and earn 4% in a high yield savings account or a money market. What do you think of this math? 100% return, five years, 20% annual ROI, if you could put your money into something, get a 20% return annually, wouldn't you? Potential holes in my math, capital gains tax, didn't factor that in. Also, how am I gonna be taxed on my income from the SRECs? That's on my to-do list, but I haven't been making money from SRECs yet. But if nothing else, I would just assume that it would be treated as ordinary income. So I know, I paid a lot for this. Now imagine if I had done all this myself and I was into this for a third of the price. DIY, ground mount, goal, smaller scale, which is essentially what this is. This is a big small scale project as far as solar is concerned. Goal, about a dollar a watt. Put me around 30, $35,000. If my math works and checks out, I'd basically be broken even in two years. Sure. Bitcoin could dump and that really negatively impacts it, but it could also pump and make it a one year return. You need something to believe in, right? It sure as f is not the US dollar, that's for sure. I'm not trying to pitch you solar. I don't care what you do. I just know what I'm doing. Part of what I do is create content. I love making content, it's fun. I've been doing it for a long time and I feel like I'm, I'm just truly blessed to have an incredible community, all you maniacs that subscribe to me here on Bosscoin. Uh, so I, I feel indebted to you for the opportunity to basically earn money making videos that I already wanted to make. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep running. I'm going to keep trying to make the best content I can. I'm going to open source everything I'm doing, right? I'm going to open source my solar designs. I've open sourced my mining farm design. And what, what I mean by that is I explain what I did, why I did it, how I did it, and then you can go out there and do that if you want to. 
all right i mean may, maybe i should put an affiliate link to go order solar in the video description but like i don't know i'll, I'll look into it but like that's that's not why i'm here i'm here to document my crazy crypto journey and just wild chase i've been on for financial freedom i don't want money to buy a yacht i want money for freedom if you're poor you're not free you're not even close to free but even getting a lot of money doesn't necessarily make you free either you could absolutely become enslaved to your job, your business, and your obligations. So it's not quite that simple. But I'm all hyped up a Mountain Dew. Or <laughs> really actually G Fuel. And I'm not some affiliate with them. I, it's, I, it's funny, you, you can't, like, if you get popular online, people will just think that you, like, sold out for, like, anything you ever liked. Like, it's like you can't even be excited about anything. Right? I, I feel like I have to add, like, disclaimers and pretext to everything I do. But whatever. Hey, I'm Drew Voss. You're on the Voss on YouTube channel. This is the Array. 80 panels up installed. They are generating right now. Oh, I'm so excited. We got so many sunny days ahead of us this year. Unless those bastards do a bunch of cloud seeding. But that's a whole different subject and not a conspiracy theory. I hope you subscribe because I have some really cool content in the pipeline. Uh, stuff I'm, I'm very proud of. I think that uh, the channel's been firing on all cylinders. The mining farm is bigger and uh, more efficient uh, than it's ever been before. And I'm just, you know, me and, and the rest of the team, uh, we've been working really hard. And I just think that we've been making a lot of progress and stuff to be proud of. And uh, I, again, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. So I appreciate you. Hope you have something that you can appreciate yourself today. And uh, hey, hope to see you on the next video.